So before this video starts, I want to show you guys the custom license plate that I picked up for the Miata. I had the idea for this license plate pretty much right after I bought the car. And I thought, you know, it's pretty cheap. Why not just buy it? And you guys would have seen that I uh, purchased this if you were following me on Instagram at auto.autopsy. Uh, definitely follow me on Instagram because you'll see a lot more behind the scenes stuff when it actually happens as opposed to a week or two later when I upload it. So I definitely post a lot of cool stuff on Instagram so check me out on there. Again it's at auto.autopsy and uh, without delaying this any further let's go ahead and start this video. Hope you guys enjoy. So I'm back here in the Miata today and I want to talk and discuss with you guys about my plans for this car. So I'm not completely sure what I want to do yet, but there's two or three major routes that I'm thinking. So I'm going to put a poll in the video right here, and I want you guys to vote which option you think would be the best decision, or which route would be the best decision for me to take with this car. So those routes are one, keep it stock, just restore it to perfect condition and keep it stock. And the second option that I'm considering is going with a big turbo, not huge, like a thousand wheel horsepower turbo, but going with a fairly good sized turbo, we'll say, and uh, basically making it not really a track car, because I don't want to strip it, I still want to be able to daily drive it, but making it a pretty quick car, we'll say. So let's talk about the reasoning behind wanting to keep it nice and restore it. So the first reason uh, that I'd want to restore it is mainly for an investment because some of these Miatas are starting to drastically shoot up in value. I mean, when I was initially looking for my first car and looking at these, you could easily find an NA Miata for a thousand dollars, even less. But now they're going for double or triple that. So I think they are starting to get to the age where they're starting to gain value again especially the nicer ones because one that was riced out by a teenager is going to have almost zero value to anyone whereas one that was very well maintained i mean this car has 122,000 miles so not really low miles but a car that is in nearly perfect condition uh, is bone stock it's basically how it is from the factory right now so those are the ones that are going to go up in value, not the modified ones. So I know that restoring the car would not be that exciting, and honestly, at the end of the day, that's probably the route that I'm not going to go. But it would be very smart to do financially, because I think 10 years from now, this car could be worth well more than what I paid and put into it to properly restore it. Now, I'm not saying it's gonna be like a $50,000 car in 10 years, because it's clearly not. But I do think that they are slowly going up in value. And I'm not trying to compare these to like Mustangs or anything, but now that this, this car is almost 25 years old and that the original Miata is over 25 years old, I think that they're starting to have some historical value and that will start to lead to the prices of them rising. So yeah, that's my pretty lame and boring first option. Now to get to the second option and the exciting option, I expect to have about 95% of the votes here and that is big turbo. So again, let me clear something out of the way first and foremost. I will not be racing this car out. Yes, with a big turbo and performance upgrades, I will be getting coilovers, uh, meteor wheels and tires, but I'm not going to be putting camber and stupid shit like that on it uh, to make it look dumb. I won't be putting a big wing on it. I might put like a small ducktail lip on it because I do like the look of some of those, but I wouldn't be doing much uh, exterior wise outside of the wheels and suspension i'd also like to get a front lip for it because let's be honest those look pretty freaking sweet but performance wise so i won't be putting a big wing on it like i said i won't be putting stupid camber on it and shit like that because that's just pointless and dumb and if anything slows the car down so i have done very limited research on turbo kits and most of them are only rated somewhere between like 150 and 180 horsepower and I mean, honestly, that's just really disappointing to me because although this car does only weigh like 2,300 pounds, with 180 horsepower, it would 
definitely easily be as bad be as fast as the Saab I think but I want it to be a lot quicker than that uh, because I know it has potential to be a lot quicker than that. Now there is a lot of question as to how much these stock engines can hold before you have to do a lot of rebuilding and stuff. So I'm, I don't really want to go to a point where I would have to rebuild the internals and stuff like that. But I think that I would be able to push about maybe 250 wheel horsepower before I would have to upgrade the internal. So I think that's probably what I would shoot for. For any of you that do have a Miata or have done research in the turbo kits before, you'll know that they come as an entire kit. So you pay like maybe like $3,000, we'll say for an average one, and that wouldn't be a very good one. Uh, and for that $3,000, you're getting an exhaust, you're getting an intercooler, you're getting the turbo itself, you're getting all the piping for the intercooler, you're getting everything that you would need to make the car function properly with that turbo. So you're not just getting the turbo for $3,000. Installation of these, I think it would be something that my dad could help me with and we could knock out over a weekend. So I wouldn't really want to take it to a shop, so that would of course save a pretty good chunk of change on labor. But uh, yeah, so the plans uh, are very vague right now. Of course, I still have to get the overheating issue solved and then the AC working, which by the time this video is uploaded might already be fixed. I'll definitely update you guys on that. There isn't really, you know what, for the hell of it, just to see how many votes it gets, I am going to put a third option in here and that is Ricer. So let's see how many votes Ricer gets. Uh, it's not something I'll be doing, but I'm just curious to see how many votes Ricer would be getting. But I expect Turbo to get probably 80 or 90% of the votes easily. So I'm interested to see what you guys think about that. But yeah, uh, another discussion video. I wanna know what you guys think, what you think I should do, what you think is the best option, and what you would like to see in all honesty. Uh, what you'd like to see me do to this car. With that being said, that's gonna wrap up this video. I've been driving around the parking lot now for about five minutes because I thought I would finish the video sooner. But that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you next time. Oh <laughs>